Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I am always on the lookout for good embedding models. That is why I was quite excited when I saw that Google has released a new embedding model called as a Gemini embedding model. This is not an open source model, rather it's a SaaS service, so it means that you can only access it through API. But the good thing is that you can grab your free API key from Google's AI Studio from here, aistudio.google.com, and then you can use this model easily. So it means that you don't really need any infrastructure. All you need is some sort of code editor and a small piece of code in order to access this model, which I will be showing you shortly. But first up, let's try to understand what exactly is this model. So this model, Gemini Embedding, is a state-of-the-art text embedding model which has been developed through the Gemini's API. It's an experimental model trained on the Gemini model itself, inheriting its understanding of language and nuanced context. So why exactly is these embeddings model are so important? So look, if you're looking to implement AI in your production environment for your company or for any product, you have to have an embedding model because you are more than likely to use a RAG pipeline or retrieval augmented generation or some sort of recommendation system for text classification or to understand the meaning behind text with the help of LLMs. Embeddings are really critical for building these sort of applications because they not only enable you to understand the semantic relationship between your data, but also they reduce cost and latency. Because for keyword, keyword matching system, you really need to have something lightweight. Embeddings capture semantic meaning and context through numerical representation of data. Data with similar semantic meaning have embeddings that are closer together and there are a lot of other features which you can enable with these embeddings. But before I talk about those features, let me show you some of the benchmarking information which Google has shared. So it is very, very generic, which is a good thing for an embedding model. And it delivers exceptional performance across diverse domains, as you can see from these benchmarking results, whether it is uh, legal or search or finance or science, it has performed really well. More importantly, it has performed very well on multilingual benchmark MTAB. As you can see that in the MTAB multilingual leaderboard, it has beaten almost every other model. It supports, I believe, more than 100 languages, which is quite interesting. And I really like that thing about this model. So I was talking about some of the features. Now, when it comes to features, it enables you to have efficient retrieval, which we already discussed. It is really cool for RAG or retrieval augmented generation, where you provide more data to your LLM so that they will have more grounded response to your queries. And then it also enables you to group similar text together based on its content such as sentiment analysis or spam detection plus it can also help you in identifying duplicate content enabling tasks like web page deduplication or plagiarism detection there are a lot of other use cases which i could go on and on one of my favorite is matryoshka representation learning or mrl because it also enables you to truncate the original 3000 dimensions to scale down and meet specific storage cost requirement. As I said, second favorite feature is 100 language support in this model. The previous one was also quite good from Google, uh, which was, I believe, some text embedding. That was the name. Sorry, the naming convention of Google really is terrible. Anyway, I digress. But this, uh, so that previous embedding model from Google supported around 50 languages, but this one supports 100 languages. Okay, so now let's try to see how can we get it in action. As I said, one requirement is that you need to go to this Google's AI studio and grab your free API key after you logged in with your free Google account. Once you have that, let's try to get it installed. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are IgentPot. IgentPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So let me now take you to my 
terminal where I am running this Ubuntu 22.04 and let me quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. This shouldn't take too long, it always helps to have it. And then we need to install Google's SDK which is which is Google dash NAI and I'm just, just using the pip command in order to install it. It's quite lightweight, it's already done. Next up, I need to set my Gemini API key in my environment, which I already have grabbed. So let me set it and clear the screen. Now let me show you the code where I can use this new model. So you see this is just 10 lines of code where I'm importing the libraries, I'm grabbing the key from my environment, and then I'm instantiating this Google's Gemini's embedding model. And then you can just put in any random line here. This is going to convert this into numerical representation. So let me run this code. Let's our terminal and then I'm just going to run this code from there app.py and there you go so it has generated the embeddings for this simple text lot of embeddings because as I said its dimensions are really higher there you go so this is the whole embedding of your text which you gave it there and now this is an example of how you can use it with multilinguality. So you see what I have done, I've just created this code and then I have put in a lot of um, languages there, English to Urdu, Persian to Zulu, Yoruba, Japanese, Portuguese, Arabic, and the list goes on and on. And then you can use it with Gemini embedding model. I'm not sure if uh, it, will it will throttle me or not, but let me run it to see what happens. English, Spanish, what is doing it? French, Mandarin, German, there you go. I was throttled, but you got the idea that you can easily uh, do the embeddings in various languages, more than 100 languages, which is quite cool. So I hope that this was useful. Let me know what do you think about this. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please do me a favor and share it among your uh, among your network on various social medias and before i let you go i also wanted to thank our very very good friends at mast compute who are sponsoring this vm though i haven't used any gpu but if uh, you are looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very very affordable and cheap prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description Plus, I'm also going to give you a 50% discount coupon for a range of GPUs, VMs and CPUs which you can easily check out. I'm sure that you are going to love it, especially if you are using other providers. So let me know how you go and thank you for all the support.